Have you noticed that your productivity has taken a hit lately? Maybe you're having trouble completing tasks or staying motivated. Brain fog could be the issue. Stay tuned. The following interview will help you get back on track with certain activities, foods, and supplements that support focus and mental clarity. This is Denise at Total Wellness Academy, and I am interviewing Wendy Creel. So thank you for being here, Wendy. I so appreciate it. So let me tell you a little bit about this amazing woman. She's a naturopath and a master herbalist and a dear friend of mine. So I just really, um, and I have to say, so you can find her at wendyswellness.org. Yes. Uh, and I uh, have to say, the reason why this is so special to me is because we have so much of the same mission statement in our education part of, of Body, Mind and Spirit. And that's what Total Wellness Academy is too. So I just love that we share that commonality. Yeah. And so, thank you so much for inviting me to join you. I am oh, I am honored. Oh, well, let me tell you, you're, you're just a wealth of information. So our topic today is brain fog. And I know that we talk, we both talk to clients that are really struggle, struggling with um, all kinds of things. So I really wanted us to talk about what brain fog, like descriptions that actually could mean brain fog. So I just asked for you to maybe start with a few and then I'll throw in a few and see if they coincide. Okay. Well, it was very interesting because I had a text from a friend of mine this morning and she says, do you have anything for memory? She said, I am taking my real estate. Uh, she's studying to be a real estate agent. And she said, I cannot remember anything. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, and, and this is, uh, this can be called, whether you call it um, memory loss or, or brain fog, you know, where you feel like you're, you're in pea soup. They, they they are about the same thing, and um, and I don't know about you, but um, I find it in um in a lot of people that have poor diets. Oh, okay. Oh, well. that's a really, that is such a good thing, and we need to talk about that a bit too. So, my question to you is: When I hear a client say. I don't know what's the matter with me. I walk into a room and I can't remember why I went there. Yeah. 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 And I mean, first of all, I think we all do that to some extent. And sometimes that is trying to do too many things at one time. Yeah. We multitask way too much. Okay. And I, okay. I really don't think we're designed to do that, but we're so stressed out. We're trying to do a million things at once. And, yeah. And that, that, that is taxing on the brain. Well, and I think that alone should help the viewers um, say, oh, good, I'm normal. Because yeah, I'm normal. It, yeah, it, yeah, it's normal. We can't contain everything in that brain. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Um, and I have, and this kind of brought up a question. And so my um, uh, mentor and just amazing person that I went through several courses with, um, Bob Proctor, said that we all have a perfect memory. It's that we're just, we're not used to using that muscle. Yeah. What what do you feel about that? Um, I actually think it's, it's biblical. I mean, oh. really, it is. Biblical. Oh. If if you read the word, um, it, it says many, many times, bring to remembrance, bring to remembrance, oh. recall the word, you know, uh, I do think we, we okay. don't use enough of our brain, but, um, you know, our brain is also fueled by what we put into our body. Yes. Um, how relaxed we are um, and not being stressed out. And, um, you know, one of the things that I found, um, you know, when you go through menopause for a lot of women, you know, that, <laughs> that that's another thing that can, you know, af affect your. Okay. Your so, yeah. so hormonally. Also. Hormonally can be, a, can be another one. Okay. All right. Wow. Well, let's um, let's start with some. Um, we kind of got it defined a little bit, and so what kind of? Uh, I guess let's first talk about activity. What kind of activity? 
um, can we do that would help uh, support the brain function better? Um, I mean, do you feel like um, uh, I promote sometimes this belly breathing, deep breathing to bring in more oxygen? And, and yeah, we definitely need more circulation okay. um, going up to the head. Mm -hmm. And and so deep breathing is is definitely one. Okay. Um, I think, um, of course, I'm an herbalist. So so I think of herbs that are going to promote um, circulation uh, up in okay. into the brain area. OK. Um, and, you know, you can also do, um, you know, memory exercises <laughs> with, oh, okay. with, with your brain, you know, yeah. um, it, uh, you know, memorizing. Do you remember in school we used to memorize? We oh. had to memorize things. And now nobody memor and that that's a brain exercise, and I don't think anybody memorizes anything anymore. Oh, I yeah, uh, I mean, you know, guilty. I don't even know my kids' phone numbers because I, I know we used to know we used to know everybody's phone number because now it's just it's in our phone. So our computer in our phone is taking over our brain. So our brain is not exercising in the right way, perhaps as much as it should be. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, that's a really good point. Um, so what, I think you have some actual different tonics or, um, herbs that you use for people. So just like your client called you today and said, what have you got from memory? What would you suggest? And I, I said, well, I have my memory and focus from it. <laughs> okay, good. And, and it is, um, a very old traditional, um, remedy that's probably been around a while. I've tweaked it a little bit. But it's um, it's a large part of it is uh, ginkgo biloba, which increases the circulation, especially to the head brain area. Hey. So ginkgo's um, one of the herbs in there. And then there's, you know, rosemary. Rosemary has traditionally been called the herb of remembrance. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, it in... It increases um, the circulation up into the uh, brain, but it's also, you know, very heavy in those minerals that your your brain uses. Okay. So, yeah. Um, and, and it's high in oxygen. So rosemary has long been called the herb of remembrance. Wow. I love that. Um, let me ask you, if I was, do we get the same benefit? Now, if I was to diffuse rosemary I, I think in this case yes you would because it would okay. be going straight up the you know olfactory right into the brain okay okay so that would be a way that someone out there who's listening they could start with that if yeah they aromatherapy to. with rosemary would be would be very effective i think in this case Okay. So, um, so just delving into a few of more herbs in there, you have calamus root or, or sweet flag, which a lot of people are not familiar with. But this is this is an herb that helps you recall. It's used for people who are studying, for students to help retain things. And it really works in that center of the brain. It's known as a um, for most people who are herbalists as a digestive aid, oh, wow. but you know, we in natural health know that the second brain is the gut. the gut. So when your, when your gut is functioning well, your brain should function better. Okay. Um, so, uh, so there is calamus root in there and then cola nut. Now, okay. yeah, cola nut. <laughs> so this is um, this is one that the um, the Indian, like in Ayurvedic medicine, they actually and and a lot of the uh, the Muslims will use this. They they chew on the cola nut in, in their culture. It's high in caffeine, and we know caffeine jolts the the brain awake. Oh, so cola nut is is used in this tincture not in high amounts but it just just a, a, a little bit to stimulate you know the brain and wake it up oh wow yeah well, and then you have uh -huh. that i'm sorry would that be instead of my coffee 
<laughs> uh, you know, I've never tried the drink cola, you know, a cola yeah. nut to make it because they're literally nuts. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That I that I'm grinding up and then and, and tincturing. So okay. I, I've never really tried it. Um, okay. And um, and then you have a little cayenne. So cayenne equalizes circulation from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. So it's a great little okay. touch of circulatory stimulant. So okay. here you have a bunch of herbs that just, you know, is geared to fire up the brain, yeah. bring circulation and help memory retention. Wow. Can someone use that, um, you know, pretty regularly or, or do oh, you yeah. take oh, yeah. There, there's there's no long term um, damaging effects. There's you know it's it's not something you could um, o overdo. Okay. You know, generally, uh, tinctures are taken two or three times a day. Okay. All right. Yeah. And and the other amazing thing about your practice is that you grow a lot of your own um, herbs. Well, I wild craft. Let's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not really a gardener. There there are some, but I, I wildcraft a lot. Um, okay. I, I always tell people that if I if I grew everything, I would never get out of the garden. Well, for sure. And and you're already. <laughs> we haven't even gone into the rest of your whole um, King Mountain Farm it, it, things that you do. So, yeah. So, um, so then I would ask. There was one, I think, herb that I have at least in the past have associated with um memory or learning which was saint saint john's wort saint john's wort which i i mean i um what's your thought i think of that as a neuroregenerative herb also that protects okay. um because you know when you're to me when you're thinking about memory i'm thinking about is the brain circulating Right. And and is the brain also detoxing while you rest? Yes. And most people don't realize that their brain um it kind of squeezes like a sponge when they sleep to, you know, drain it of all this um it's mm -hmm. like um what do you want to say flushing a toilet? <laughs> <laughs> to put, yeah. to put, you know, it's flushing out yeah. and, it, it, yeah. and it's, it, it's flushing out all, all those toxins while you sleep. Well, and, and that's, you're, that, that goes right along with the whole body and how it regenerates and, and repairs at night. I mean, yes. that's, it goes along with the whole thing. Yeah. And if you're, so. if you're not getting adequate sleep so that your brain can do that, mm -hmm. I mean, I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. and my daughter is up and I'm wondering why is she up so early? And she, and when I left later, she was sleeping and I said, why were you up at 5 a.m.? And she goes, what do you mean? Maybe I just never went to bed. And I'm going. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, they're, they're OK. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm afraid my mom thing would take over here. And say, yeah, that, yeah, that's a mom thing. But, you know, that's that's a that's a teenager. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is amazing. Who would have thought? So um, it, no sleep. <laughs> no sleep would be it. Yeah. So that would be definitely an activity that's really important for brain um, optimization. It, it, yes. It's good sleep. rest. Yes. Yeah. Good rest. Okay. Then I have, so that was kind of activities, some of, some of the herbs. What do you think, or how much do you think our memory and our um, uh, recall, things like that, have to do with our actual thought process. Can someone keep telling themselves that I have a terrible memory? I have a terrible memory. I have, a, and if they're if, if they are convinced of that, yeah. Well, you know, I'm always going to go back to the Word of God because it says, "As a man thinks, so he is." And yep. if you if you you know tell yourself something then then that will happen yeah. I, I mean you're you're programming yourself to yes. to believe that and and yes. to think that your body responds to your thoughts yes i love that i i just feel like you can because of the intimate connection of the body mind spirit you just cannot uh fix one area and be you know and and be constantly reiterating in the back of your mind that oh yeah i have a terrible memory oh yeah I have a terrible memory and and expect to have a great memory yeah and and so one of the things that um 
I have been led to do by the Lord is to put scriptures now on all of my tinctures because it was Derek Prince who was um, very ill in his younger years for a, a year in bed. And he was reading the word and God said, you, you're not, um, you're not taking your medicine three times a day. And he said, what do you mean? And he said, you're not speaking my word over yourself three times a day. So, and he was in the army and he, and so he, he took that literally and he spoke God's word over his, um, he had a skin affliction three times a day and, and he was healed. No medicine because they couldn't, they had no medicine for him. He could not be healed. So wow. on my memory formula, I put um, Jude 1 17 and it says, remember the words that were spoken. Oh, oh, that just gives me chills. Woo, yeah. <laughs> and so, and so when you speak that because it has power, you know, you will remember, you're speaking over yourself. Remember yes. the words that were spoken. Remember the words that were spoken. I will remember the words that were spoken. Oh my gosh, Wendy. You that can is... train yourself to, to do that. Yeah, what a beautiful, you know, addition to, you know, the, the things, the body and the mind, and then, you know, bring in that spirit part. What what an amazing We thing. have to, because we yeah. are spirit. And we I know. And we've got to bring it in. I know. Uh, spirit beings having a physical experience. Yeah. Spirit exactly. beings. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, okay. And then I wanted to go over um, some foods that may help with circulation or, um, you know, brain. And, and you're the stronger one when it comes to, um, <laughs> to your nutrition. But, uh, you know, I immediately think of... Um, your herbs that have heat, you know, okay. like, you know, okay. cayenne. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, um, maybe spices, cayenne oh, and okay. ginger and turmeric, mm -hmm. you know, those herbs that have heat that promote circulation that are diffusive. Okay. You know, to, okay. To okay. And, and one of the things that I feel, um, that we miss so much is our omega threes that comes from fish oil. Oh, yeah. Because that fatty is, acids. yes, the fatty acids, you know, the brain is so much, I mean, I, I, the high percentage, I mean, it's, it's a fat, fat in the brain. It's a fat. It's a, our brain is a fat and it, and it needs that desperately. And I think that was, that was also one of the things that really hurt us when, you know, what was it 20 years ago when we went into the fat free? Yeah. It's like, yeah, they, you know, everything they say, do the opposite. <laughs> Because and oh. and now and now it's statin drugs. Oh, yeah. Oh, where yeah. we've seen you know it's such an increase in dementia and Alzheimer's because it's it's stopping the food to the brain, which is cholesterol, fat. You know. Oh, oh my gosh, boy! That what what a word of wisdom there. I hope that's going to help a lot of people understand that you know. It's not, you know, wherever it, they think it's solving a problem, it's it's also, not. It's, it's creating it's, another. It's one. creating another problem. So yeah. that's and that's one of the reasons why I think we do what we do. We have such a passion to help people take control of their health. You know, and it's so it, you know, it's empowering. We have, um, we're so lazy. Yeah. You know, we've gotten into this this laziness that we want. Oh, it's easier to pop a pill, but you know, it's going to oh. have. De de detriment and you don't feel good right right you oh, oh you don't feel good but when you you know take those steps one by one little by little to in you know it empowers you you know you realize you do have control over your health you do have control over your thoughts you do have control over your body you have control over the way you feel yes oh, you know wow. and you can feel fantastic yes and and really you know, when we're feeling better, we actually then get to really live in our purpose and find and and live out our purpose as God designed in the first place. Is, yeah, because when know, you feel good, you you have a zest for life. Yes, yes. But when when you don't, I, you know, I was talking to um, a woman the other day, and she really wanted to help her husband, and she said, you know, he's so overweight, and 
you know, he's on high blood pressure and this and that, you know, six different medications and he doesn't eat right. He's on the go, high stress and everything. And, um, and I said, you know, he probably doesn't even know what it, how it feels to feel good. Yes. Yes. That he has, probably... You have no idea how it feels to feel good. Because you yes. just feel bad all the time. And then you get that hopelessness. Y yes. You know, yes. What, what's the point? And, yes. and it's, and it's a vicious, it's a vicious cycle. Yes. Well, and, and this one, this one avenue of it um, with the brain has so, you know, it just is the, the whole thought process and, and the brain itself is, um, is an entity but the mind and the thought, those are actions. That's actually not a thing yeah. like the brain. The mind is um, an activity. Yeah. So an interface. I, I call it the interface. <laughs> oh, that's a good, that's a good word. That's a good word. Um, so I, I think that omega-3, um, the fish oil is really, really um, important. And um, then also there are uh, other like uh, vegan omega-3s in, in walnuts and um and seeds those yeah kinds i'm of a nut and a seed eater i love nuts and seeds yes and that's boy that that makes all the difference in the world so you can always just keep keep you know add a little bit to that but also um just getting back to whole foods versus very uh, it, very much yeah. so very yeah. much so yeah because we miss so much of all the um minerals and vitamins and cofactors and enzymes that are in food that God had actually designed food right, to be right and they're life giving we, yes they're life giving they're life giving and so um one of the things i i teach about whole foods when people go well, well what, what tell me what a whole food is a whole food really doesn't need a label at all yeah god you created it you, you don't have to, you know, look in a package and read on a label what's in it. It's, you know, broccoli is broccoli. You don't need it. So um, as, as one example. So anyway, um, I just feel that, too, is really important for uh, helping the brain get back its uh, all, all of its energy to be working correctly for us. Yeah. And I always say, you know, it's not. Yes, it's the whole food. Like God said, every seed bearing plant shall be for mm -hmm. your food. But they also, you know, what people don't realize is they carry, you know, a vibration, a light, a sound, you know, that our cells were created to receive. And without that, you know, it starts getting really dark inside. Yes. Yes. You oh, know? my gosh. What? Yeah. What a beautiful picture of how the, the whole circulation of food into the body and how yes. it really feeds it feeds us in more than one way. And yeah. And those colors, you know, yes. oh, we're, and we're supposed to eat the rainbow. <laughs> yes. Eat, yes. Eat your colors. That's, that's a, an amazing. Colors. Yes. So, well, um, I, I just, this is going to help a lot of people, Wendy. And I just wanted to say again that, um, Wendy's wellness, um, you can get her at wendyswellness.org. And is your, um, email on there? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that you could actually ask Wendy um, information. You could make appointments with her. Uh, she is amazing. Her, her information and what she's got, the tools that she's got to help you for um, just all any, any and all kinds of ailments. So um, you've just been such a, a wealth of information for me personally. And I know you will be helping a lot of people through this. No, right back at you, Denise. You're an inspiration for me, too. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you so much. We just oh, want to get people well. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. So um, thank you for joining us. And we'll say goodbye for now. And we'll get we'll catch up again real quick. OK, thank you, Denise. Okay, Bless thanks, you. Wendy.